All right, this is a project I've been dreading for a while, and I I simply have to try. I just have to try. This poor man has put up with me for two years, at least a year, maybe two. I just feel awful. I'm doing it today. I started. Um, I've disassembled the um, the housing. I'm inspecting the damage that he's asked me to repair, which is, as you can see, the um, rotator for one of the sides is just completely broken out. Um, I have most of the parts, but not all, so I'm gonna have to do some, some engineering, nothing serious. You see A, B, C, and D, those are the connections to his gauges. Uh, it's a nice transformer, it has gauges. So here's, uh, Here's D, there's C, there's B, and there's A. So those are the wiring connections. This is the back side of this behemoth. Um, it's a 30B. And um, all I'm going to do now is turn it on just to show you. Uh, that would be a green lens and uh, the power is on. So the transform, no hum, okay. Uh, no broken wires. Uh, one wire was pulled, but it's not broken, so it should be able to solder it back on. So he'll have everything factory. One is a little rough. I'm going to re-solder that, so make it a little cleaner. Everything else looks to be intact and in fine condition from the operational side of the transformer. Okay, feeling really good about that. The challenge is over here on the housing. Um, this has to be um, taken apart. Uh, I'm going to get that side apart so I can get really accurate dimensions. Um, there's a drum that fits in there and it's broken off. Uh, not a, the drum's not broken, but the, the piece that holds it down is. And I'm going to try to reconstruct that either with the pieces or with... Ah, I can't do anything. Oh, that's just the rotating part. Okay. Oh, there. Yeah, the parts are in here. The broken parts are in here. They're in another bag. Yeah, these are all the parts that came off of it. Uh, different shapes and pieces, and they're, there's not complete. It's not complete. It's totally shattered, okay? So I'm going to have to reconstruct this side. It'll look, it'll look like this. Well, it'll look like this one, okay? Uh, you'll see there's a connector here and then a slot and that whole connector part here is broken out and then the slots will have to be completed. So I'm going to have to think about the best way to build this uh, back up and uh, fit something in and I have some ideas. I think since this is all there is and it just rotates around, it, the little saddle comes down on here and it does this. So it's fairly open around here once it gets down, okay? I think, uh, I think I can build something that is circular, the exact diameter, and has the missing parts at the right level and s would slide down and now you would either screw or glue to that rim right there. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing so that it looks just like this side, only a little fatter around the diameter. That's what I would like to do. And you would see the seam there where the two pieces join. But I would have them in such a way that they would be securely fastened with adhesive, uh, probably a some epoxy. Oh boy, yeah, I know. It's, it's like, like not complicated, but it's just, it wore me out worrying about how to do this. So I think I've got, been practicing all kinds of, an, of antics on my, my printer. So I'm pretty sure I've got the materials and the techniques and the skill sets to do that now. I'm going to be getting my calipers out. I'm gonna be making some fairly precise diagrams and I'm going to make sure I'm going to print several parts and test fit them uh, and make sure that uh, when I put this together, it's there, it's together forever, okay? Um, anyway, I, I just feel awful how long this has taken. I am ready to tie into this thing and just get it done. Okay, this is it with my Irish music. Why not? Okay, I'm going to close this out. 
and get to work.